Oh, shit. Oh. Spooky season. It's spooky season already, folks. Oh, look at that spooky ass motherfucker. Look at that fucking nose. Oh my god, it's spooky season. <gasps> it's spooky season 2024, man. God, time moves too fast. I feel like we just. I feel like the last spooky season was what? Like yesterday. Folks, we did a lot of one offs last year. Just ev like 15 days before Halloween every night, I just played a new spooky game. And it was kind of silly and it was a little exhausting. So I thought, why don't we just play through one spooky game? And here we are. Here we are at a game just so very near and dear to my heart. I hope you all read that. Sorry I talked over it. Blow me my channel do what i want didn't force you to be here stay watching thanks my mom was not a stupid mom she was very smart she was very like i know what video games are appropriate to buy for my child like she knew the more colorful the front screen was and she knew the more crazy and funny and cute the name was you know crash spyro mario banjo kazooie mario party you know here you go crash bash and so me playing a game like this was not going to happen she knew oh resident evil oh oh what's going on on that game cover why is evil in the title nope Devil may cry. Oh, no, no. Devil. Oh, no. I don't want my son playing the devil game. <laughs> so, like, me playing a game like this was a rare thing, and I owe it to one of my oldest cousins. So, on my dad's side of the family, my dad's the firstborn. I'm the firstborn grandchild, so, like, I'm the oldest. On my mom's side of the family, my mom is the youngest of five. And so me and my brother were like the absolute babies of the family. The, the oldest cousin, though, the first grandchild on my mom's side, you know, I only saw my mom's family every other Thanksgiving and then either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I don't know. They lived all far away versus my dad's family, which was all around the block. So, like, I only saw them two maybe three times a year sometimes Easter and they were all older than me and I had that little kid syndrome I see it from my kid now like when you're a little kid you just want to hang out with older kids you're just like what are the older kids doing oh they're so much cooler than me oh my god older kids yes yes woo older kids and, like, they would wail on me. Like, they abused me. <laughs> we fucking... They were all into wrestling, and I was the attack dummy. But a lot... When they started playing video games, though, I was, like, enthralled. It was mostly, like, Madden, NHL 97. It was Mortal Kombat, Tony Hawk, Gran Turismo. They didn't play, like, the fun, colorful platformers. But one Thanksgiving, my oldest cousin on my mom's side brought this over for the PS1. Folks, dinner was at like 6.30. My cousins all got there at like 2. And they wouldn't leave until at least 11 or midnight. Like, we're an Italian family. There's food, there's booze. We party very long. Thank you. That's how we go. Thanks. We played this game and almost beat it that night. And it like, it was the fucking coolest night of my life. I was like, oh my God, this game has like swords and zombies and you're a skeleton. Like, oh my God, yes. Oh, medieval. I cannot believe this game had enough of a following to get a remake. Listen here, folks. I backed the wrong horse the previous gen, okay? I only had an Xbox One. Uh, Mom and Dad's dear old 
uh, Christmas presents stopped being consoles after the Xbox 360 gen. That's when they were like, that's enough. That's enough out of you. And I got to tell you, when the Crash remake came out, I was very dead inside. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been talking. When I was like 15 in high school, I was like, they should remake all the old Crash Bandicoot games with today's graphics. And then they did it. And it had like a two-year head start on the PS4. It eventually came to Xbox. Thank fucking God. Probably after the talks of acquisition. Who knows? Yeah, you're thought of as this hero, and you're literally one of the first people to die. That's it. Yeah, and you're known as, like, the hero. But really, you died very early. But anyways, I, I couldn't believe how fucking cool this game was. <laughs> It was unlike anything I'd ever played. Everything I'd played was a colorful, fun, collect-a-thon platformer. I had not played anything gory or this, you know? And when they remade this, I gotta tell you, for like two and a half weeks to a month, I googled GameStop. Xbox One used sellback price with store credit. <laughs> and then I looked up each of the games and then I looked up the cost of a PS4. And the PS4 it was popular, I guess. It made it into the 100 million mark as far as consoles sold. So, like, the price was rarely down. And I was just like, oh, I really like Halo and Gears of War, though. Like, uh, all right. Ugh, ugh. I didn't buy a PS3 or a PS4. I didn't get a PS3 because I asked for it. And my mom was like, uh, the Xbox One is 350 and the this PS3 thing is 600 We're not buying you a $600 console. And I was like, all right, you know what? Sony stopped making Crash and Spyro games at the end of the PS2 era anyway. So I was like... Just get me an Xbox, because I had played the original Halo for Xbox and a few other games, and I was like, I think I'm on Team Xbox right now. Um, yeah, it, it, objectively, if you go back and, and even you think of God of War, the fucking PS4 gen just ate the Xbox gen alive. That's when Halo was at its weakest, too. Oh, yeah. No, it was bad. It was bad. Got our fucking shit pushed in. That's also when I stopped console warring, too. For like a hot second, I was like, Xbox is better. It, it wasn't even about the Xbox. It was more so about the PlayStation I had grown up with kind of went away at the end of the PS2 era. Like, I grew up with Crash and Spyro and, you know, the, f the Croc. You know, the fun, colorful platformers. And PlayStation became about, you know, really gory shit like God of War and God of War 2. I liked God of War. I liked it. It just, I don't know. Oh, but man, when they remade this, oh. I can't, folks, I have made tons of friends in my adult life. Tons. Through middle school, high school, college, past college, a few different jobs. Nobody, nobody, zero people that I know in real life have played this game. <laughs> like, I thought for sure that this was a game only I knew about. And back more about my cousin and bringing this game, not only did we play it that night like crazy, but he left it there on Thanksgiving. Like, he went home 
and was just like, yeah, you can borrow it. You know, I'll see you guys around Christmas. Like, my cousins, I had two of them that actually did play a lot of video games, and then two of them were very, like, casual gamers. But, like, one of the casual ones was like, yeah, man, you can have it. I had I had two cousins uh, named Brian and Brandon. Um, one of them is no longer with us. He had cancer and died when he was 21 and I was in high school. It was really sad. And, like, him and his brother played a shit ton of video games. They actually left their Sega Genesis at my house one Thanksgiving. And I think that's honestly what turned me into a video game player. Like, I just viewed video games as something you do at, like, an arcade, like Chuck E. Cheese or something. And they had left that there, and so I played the fuck out of Sonic 1 and 2, and then eventually 3. And then I learned that fucking Blockbuster rented games, so I played a few other games. I don't even remember what else I played for the Sega Genesis. I played, like, I know I played Altered Beast. That was one I played. Um, I played a game where you were, like, a helicopter just filled with infinite nukes. And you walked around, like, a 3D isometric plane just bombing everything. By the way, this is medieval. <laughs> I basically have my older cousins on my mom's side of the family to like thank for this hobby being with me. My younger cousins on my dad's side of the family play, but they played because I played. But they did get some consoles before me. <laughs> Their parents made a little bit more money than mine, so they had some stuff prior. <laughs> Oh, I can't get the chalice yet. I love this game. I will say, I love that they remade it. But, like, they almost made zero quality of life changes. <laughs> that comes from the standpoint of, like, the platforming in this game is really bad. <laughs> I guess they made, they you know what, the combat feels a little better. You just swing your sword in the direction of people. You know what's crazy to me, too? That Sony thought Daniel Fortescue, the guy we're playing as, they thought he was important enough to include in their PlayStation All-Stars game. They put this guy in it. And it's like, Sony, if you thought... Oh, we come back with this later. Sony, if you thought he was good enough for PlayStation All-Stars, why did he just get one very shitty sequel? There's a Medieval 2, and, like, maybe one guy I knew in middle school played this, and he had a PSP, which is the only thing Medieval 2 was fucking released on. And he was like, yeah, man, it's, like, really bad. It's, like, really, really bad. I recommend never playing it. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. Oh, yeah, L R1 is to defend. Come on, Dark Souls. I wish Sony and Microsoft would come to the understanding that when you have a somewhat popular and successful IP, milk it. Milk it for all it's worth. Make different versions of the game. Give some characters spin-offs. Make some prequels. Do whatever the fuck you want. Look at Nintendo with Mario. How many Mario games are, exi are in existence? From the NES to the Switch. And all the handhelds and in the in-betweens. It's got to be north of like 300, right? Nobody cares. Nobody goes, ugh, another Mario game. Guess I'll enjoy childlike wonder and happiness for the 700th time in my life. You know what I mean? 
Like, everyone's into it every time, as they should be. How do I jump? I don't get it. Xbox, e Gears of War and Halo, there should be 40 games for each of them. <laughs> Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water. You know what I mean? There should be 40 different iterations of Halo games. And I get it. They deserve some credit. They made Halo Wars, which was different. And then they made Spartan Assault, which was different. Okay. All right. Hey, hey. They did some different things, but like... There should be fucking more Halo games, man. There should be more Gears games. Oh, okay, good. We beat the first level, folks. It's spooky season. To me, man, this game as like an 11 year old was so fucking metal. I was like, look at this demon thing talking to us. Oh, we're a one eyed skeleton with a sword. Oh, it was, oh, I don't know if we'll get to the stained glass demon in the first episode. Oh, this is super cool, too. So you get to if you get enough souls, you go to what's called the fucking Hall of Heroes and you get all your new weapons here and all of the heroes here know about your bullshit. They know you're a fucking fake. They know you went down first at the battle against Zarok. These guys are the actual heroes that saved Galomir. So they all give you shit. They're all just like, hey, what up, bitch? Like, you don't fucking count, you stupid cunt. Like, but they give you their weapons anyway because you're still alive and you can fight Zarok. Man, I played this game so many times. This is so cool. This is an extra thing. Look, a little cup with... And here's the catch, folks. If you beat the game at the end and you collect all the chalices on every level, you yourself become someone in the Hall of Heroes. Hey, Sony, instead of spending like a gajillion dollars on... um. Concord and failing in 11 days you could have made like a medieval 3 or another remake or some sort of like new medieval game it could have been you know your open world collect-a-thon yeah thanks for the fucking 70 hour game you could have made this now let's speak to this guy who's very clearly openly gay Kenny Tim <laughs> I'm sorry. You know he's a fan of one of them Lannister brothers. You could take my crossbow. They've got rapid fire and can look at you with darts off walls to shoot around corners. I need you for the Battle of Gallimore. I'll do a spell I shot at Darrow, the champion Lord Carver. A clean kill through the eye at a thousand yards. Not that there's anything you care about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> He gives you a crossbow. The crossbow's whatever. It's all right. It's good against the uh, stained glass demon we're about to fight soon. So you just come here and you get uh, you get new weapons. Uh, sometimes you see the same guy and they'll give you like life bottles. So you see that thing in the top left. Those, those are essentially my lives. So if my health goes down to fucking zero, that's how I live. So, like, you always want more of those. But, yeah, man, I fucking... I played this game a billion times. And then I bought it for myself. My cousin did eventually take his copy back. And I think I, I like, went to GameStop one day with my own money and was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I want this. Guys, once you have a kid... I cannot tell you how quickly life goes by. It's insane that I'm doing a spooky season episode right now. It's crazy. It's fucking nuts. I feel like I literally just did spooky season. And the fact that the pools are closed and the beaches are closed. I'm going to fucking make myself fucking cry again. <laughs> I swear to God. So, even from the shadows of death, my old enemy 
See, while all of this is redone, I feel like the voiceover work is word for word and sound for sound from the original game. Maybe upscaled if they can upscale audio. It's the same shit. But God, spooky season mean my kid. It's near my kid's birthday. My kid was born like three days before Halloween. Some obstruction can be. <laughs> Ow. And so the start of spooky season means it's the start of my kid being like a fucking year older, man. And it just makes me a sad wash dad. We can we can get off this fucking subject now. But yeah. Yeah, last year we did just too many one-offs. Like every day I just went through the Game Pass and PlayStation Plus library and was like, okay, what's a, what's a spooky game we could play? And I would pick one. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. That explodes. Oops. And I thought, you know, that doesn't give you any time to really, like, sink your teeth into something. So this year I was like, hey. We're going to play replay Medieval. Oh, as soon as I got a PS5, folks, I played this immediately. I saw it was in the PlayStation Store, and oh my god. The, the excitement in my heart. If you knew, like, as soon as I got a PS5, I got PlayStation Plus. Because I had already known about Game Pass. And I was like, oh, so this is like the Sony equivalent. Like, yeah. I'll take this. Oh yeah, no, I don't I don't have the What the fuck is the book? Oh my god, I never read this. Oh my god. Oh I cannot wait to go through this. Morton the Earthworm. What the fuck? There's no Morton the Earthworm. Anyway, Sony, embrace your fucking older IPs, man. Just do it. Fuck. Oh boy, the music really cranked up. It's fine. It's fine. We did what we were supposed to. Also, this game added some sort of replayability that was not in the original, where, uh, okay, we'll need that eventually. Um, there's, like, masks to get in the game, but you can only get them after, uh, after you beat the game, so it, like, kind of forces you to replay the game. I've never gotten that, and I, I kind of don't plan on it. <laughs> Um, cause like, you, there's no reason to replay the levels, especially after you've gotten the chalice. But yeah, welcome to spooky season. I like doing spooky season. Um, I think spooky season is okay as long as it's August 1st. And folks, it's September at the start of this. I'm hoping to have all the episodes done quick enough to where I can work my way backwards to be like, okay, how long can we do spooky season? And yes, I am on the spectrum, and I actually really like when the Let's Play channels I watch um, do spooky seasons, and they play like scary games. I'm, I'm a sucker for that. All right, I can't break this thing. Okay, good. I finally set it correctly. Oh yeah, I remember all these levels like the back of my hand. The only level that's fucking hard 
is there's a level where a witch s shrinks you down to the size of an ant and you have to navigate these ant holes. It's by far the worst, worst, worst level in the game. It's just awful. Oh, did I really? God damn it. So you can light your enemies on fire. The music is fucking good. Oh, this whole game is good. Oh, see, I died. Oh, good. We got the. We got that. You always need gold. Yep, that that will come in handy later. That was the other cool thing about this game is like they put secrets in it. So that, that witch's talisman I just got is what actually lets me go to that stupid fucking bug level. You literally fight ants. It sucks. It, it just, it sucks. It sucks to navigate. I needed a walkthrough to get through some nice Redditor made a map of it. Can I break these bookshelves? No? Okay. We'll beat this level and we'll call it episode one. It's not a long game. If this came out as a new Sony IP, I know people would lose their minds and be like, ugh, can't make a four hour enjoyable game. Bitch, yes you can. Nintendo, how about more of this guy, huh? Like, why not? Oh, I didn't have to go this way. Oh, see, so you have a shield, too, that... And you want your shield. You want your shield in this game. Guys, this game is kind of the Dark Souls games of Dark Souls. We'll go down for that chest. We'll go down for all this. Don't worry, I'll explain. I'll explain. Look how serious the music got. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, get up there, get up there. Look at this. This is so sick. They're the ultimate cucks. They failed their mission, so they just die. <laughs> Young me was like, oh my god, was I allowed to, was I allowed to see that just now? Um, also, it's not letting me read that book. Okay, game. Oh, if you have a PS5 or a PS4 and you've never played this, do it. It's, it's pretty insane. It's, it's so fucking enjoyable. See, now that they're dead, we can go back and get the shit that mattered. Damn it, still getting that goddamn copper shield. I have the chalice, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's up in the right-hand corner, yep. Um, I don't think we get a new weapon again. Maybe we do. Wait, I think we get the... Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. Oh yeah, this guy just rips me the entire game. All of heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? Then it has turned solid as a true hero. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is such a just it's just a fucking fun game. Oh, I think he just gives you a life bottle again. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your sprite off. I sound you better if you're in a quake. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. Oh yeah. Oh no, that helps. I think there's a total of nine. 
There's a total of nine in the game. They're all pretty easy to find. See, look, now there's two chalices. Now there's two chalices? Man, such small details like that make such a big difference. Devs, please realize that someday. All right, folks, that's it. That's episode one of Spooky Fucking Season. Buckle up, buckaroos. This is a... Uh, this is a fun one. This saves automatically, right? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it saves. It better, or I'm going to be really mad. Although, I'll just get to play it all again if I fucked up, so... Oh, yeah, you just go to load game. All right. Oh, my God, look at these fucking settings. Jesus! Oh, yeah, 30 FPS lock. Fuck yeah. Okay. All right, folks. We will uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Spooky Season.